Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back to our series about Phoenix. And today I wanted to show you guys how you can quite easily integrate uh, Google Analytics into your Phoenix project. Now, uh, what I usually do is actually I build a plug. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. So you go to lib, you go to your web folder. And I like to make a folder just for my plugs, any kind of custom plugs I have, authentication, things like that and put my uh, plug into here. And so I'm gonna call this one Google Analytics. And uh, this is gonna be, of course, a module plug, and it's not gonna be quite difficult to do. Um, so the way I do this is that I will, of course, make a module. And this one's called Analytics Web. Google Analytics. And we're going to have, of course, our init function, which takes in some ops. And how I like to do this is because uh, I usually like to grab the environment. And based on the environment, if you're in production, then I will use uh, keyword arguments and basically just put into my options, uh, the, the, I'll just say GAID. And from here, I can grab the Google Maps ID. So, you know, one, two, three, something like that. And if you're not in production, then you can just return the ops by themselves. Looks just fine. need to actually end this and then of course we have our call function so this gets called the init gets called uh, upon compilation and at that time of course we're going to have mix and so uh, yeah if you're currently in compiling for production you can just put the GAID into there and so we can again use pattern map and say, okay, we take our con. If we have a GAID within our options that we got compiled before, then quite simply, you can just assign to the con the GAID, sorry. And of course the GAID. Otherwise, if you don't have that, then you just return the con. So it's pretty straightforward, not too difficult. And in this case, now all you need to do is you will just go to your router and you can just add your plug in here. And that will just be analytics web, Google Analytics. And now this will get run every single time. And so all this part does is just grabs the Google Analytics ID that you put into here. I just put one, two, three, just to kind of show you guys. And remember that this only will happen in production when you compile in production. So what you need to do is you go to your layout. And at the bottom, I'm just gonna copy and paste this in. And this is GAID. And of course, GAID. So if we have a GAID, so we have these assigns. If it's been assigned to a template, then of course there will be a key here. Then of course, we're gonna use that assign within our GA code. And this will just get triggered. So this will only get run when you're in production mode. And of course, if this is actually in your code. So that's it. So this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hi. Please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here's our YouTube channel.
Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We will answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai ge duk man o. Yo wen ti ji de wen wo.